Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. It's Hero Tracker Day. <laughs> what day did you think it was? <laughs> you nut. Uh, Hero Tracker is the video I put out monthly uh, for Fire Emblem Heroes, where I basically, you know, catalog everyone's reappearance on the Legendary, Mythic, and Remix banners, uh, so that you get a better idea of when Legendary and Mythic Heroes are coming back, uh, what they color share with, that we know of, things like that. Because, uh, for example, you may not want to pull Faye now, try to pull her, because maybe you're not interested in Uller. Maybe you don't care about Neeful. I, I'm not, I don't know your account, so I'm not going to judge you. Uh, but maybe Faye's reappearance next time around, we know she's sharing with different legends and mythics, maybe it's better for you to pull them. That's the whole point of Hero Tracker, to give you more information to know when you should summon more optimally. Uh, there will be a summon session for Faye coming tomorrow, Saturday. Uh, and then Sunday, we will have a special Halloween summon on the free-to-play account with Jenna. So, yay. Uh, but anyway, if you appreciate that, because I gain nothing from this, let's be honest. There's no enjoyment I get out of this. I have to wake up early. I have to do all the graphics. It's a nightmare. I've already been at it for 90 minutes, okay, before I even started recording. Uh, leave a like. Subscribe if you find this helpful, okay? Because, frankly, I'm tired. I'm just tired. I don't know what else to say. Uh, anyway, Hero Tracker. Let's look at Hero Tracker. Uh, I will have a composite graphic to share as well. Uh, on Twitter, so go find me there. All right, so kicking it off, let's look at the first three months here. Uh, November, <clears throat> nothing changed. This is the same as it was, um, and I think December did not change either, but uh, November looks great. There's a lot of good stuff in November, honestly. Um, I have been trying to think of a good time to pick up a couple extra Plumeria, uh, as, as I continue towards the plus 10 at a very, very slow rate, uh, I think we're at like maybe plus 4 at this point. <laughs> it's not very high. Um, Sigurd is here, and that's a great time to pull. Uh, I would not be surprised if there was a red mythic, um, but there is a likelihood that it will probably be Fafnir in blue, who is also available uh, because there's an open slot in blue as well. And it has Legendary Demetri. And let's be honest, if I'm trying to get a new Mythic or Legendary Hero, it's probably going to color share with that dude because everything always does. Uh, but, again, benefit to me, Note is there, which is great. Uh, we also have Dagger in green, and then Colorless is completely full. Typically what happens is, Whenever a hero's first reappearance occurs, this time it would be Micaiah, they usually color share with the new hero, and that gives more, I, I guess, encouragement uh, to pull on that specific color because not only do you have the newest legendary or mythic, you also have the most recent newest legendary or mythic, uh, or the, the last previous newest, first rerun words. Uh, so yeah, that is not happening this time. <laughs> uh, but Cutlass is still stacked with uh, Micaiah. Obviously, she's fantastic. Highly recommend. Uh, Corin and then Bramimon. So, yeah. Um, it's, it could be. It could be Blue Fafnir. Um, I, which, by the way, all of you who got baited by me saying, there's no colorless, there can't be Fafnir. Dudes. I will usually put some sort of bait comment in my video that forces you to try and be right on the internet, which is impossible, and then comment on my video. So, you fell for it. Congrats. Moving on to November <laughs> Remix. Uh, this hasn't changed either. We, we know what this is already. Marth, Tiki, they're getting remixed. Uh, they look insane. I'm already very happy to own plus 10 of them because Tiki basically just forcibly continued to show up in my barracks. Uh, and then Marth, whom I got to plus 10 after getting Sothis to plus 10 because I was trying to get a Marth to plus 10. 
but it's fine. Someday Sothis will get remixed and everything will be great too. Uh, and then uh, the one that I'm particularly after, because again, I already have all the Marths and Tiki's that my little heart desires. Uh, and I think I have a plus 10 Robin too. Day one account right here. Uh, Gunthra. Gunthra is in green and she's super good. So hopefully I can pick up a spark of her. Maybe one throughout before I get to spark. I know, crazy ambitions, but it could happen, I guess. It hasn't so far, but it could happen. Uh, December Legendary, Lif, uh, Lalina, Saros, and uh, Goatmam, and uh, Professor Sir, which is Byleth, <laughs> and Freya. Uh, they're all coming back. Cullis is completely empty. I'm assuming somebody from November is not going to be in December. Uh, so December is likely going to be a colorless legendary. I'm going to just put that out there right now. Because unless they wipe out every upcoming colorless hero, and then they also maybe throw in like, and uh, like a like a one-off, right? Some some sort of wild card uh, from like a voting gauntlet or something that month. Uh, they're not going to have enough spots to fill. And I, I highly doubt that we would see Korin or Bramimond or Micaiah come back literally the next month in December. It could happen, but I don't think it's very likely. So uh, I'm willing to bet that December's Legendary is going to be colorless. Just putting that out there. Uh, it could be green, but also maybe not. So, uh, And it would kind of fit since November is full of colorless, right? And typically, you know, based on the habits we've seen, the new mythic would have been colorless that month. It makes sense, I guess, if the next legendary would in fact then be that color, you know? So, who knows? We'll see. But that's my guess so far. I'm assuming November's blue could be red. I'm assuming Jan uh, December is colorless, could be green. But probably colorless. So, keep that in mind as you move forward. Uh, some stuff that you're probably interested in knowing about. The January Mythic Banner has not changed. <laughs> it's also still the same. Uh, this has Seleph and Sothis and Julia and Peony and Dark PM1 uh, or Shadow PM1, Yami PM1, however you would like to refer to uh, our shadowy overlord here. And then we have Upside Down Claude and the Goddess of uh, Stability and herself a Shara uh, probably green this month I I don't know why I think this but I feel like it's probably e tree I know weird but I just I feel like e tree is green and we haven't really seen any context on her but I just kind of feel like it is you know I have no explanation I have no reason for thinking this it's just a gut instinct. I don't really know how to say it. Uh, January Remix, nothing has changed. Still got Erica, still got Lucina, still got Lynn. Uh, probably looking at Erica Lucina Remix here. Unless they only do one of them. That's probably both of them, because they tend to do them in pairs. So uh, if you're interested in the refines, they will likely get refines either in January or February. Uh, or March, probably somewhere within there. So just be aware of that, that that time is coming. So you ready for that? February Legendary is stacked. Holy bejesus. Uh, there's a lot of stuff happening in February, uh, including, which we'll get to on the next slide, a remix <laughs> for some reason. Um, but yeah, so Mira is coming back. This is where the bulk of the units that we had in the current banner uh, for Faye come back. Uh, so Faye is returning. Krom actually got bumped from, I think it was March. And he's now coming back in February. So blue is completely full with Naga rounding it out. Uh, Mira's coming back, right? Regan was always here, so red has an open spot. Green is full. We had Yun and Edelgard already through, uh, Triandra, not through Seer. Triandra's coming back. Uh, and then there's an open spot in colorless because we only have leaf and air confirmed so far. So, kind of an uneventful February legendary prediction, I think. <laughs> it's either red or colorless. 
it's probably red because I mean given the option it's usually red but colorless can be a little sneaky right because there's a lot of options that they have there so uh, they could they could sneak something in there uh, but yeah February is packed so if honestly I think this Fey banner looks better than the current Fey banner just because I think Krom is, is maybe more versatile, but uh, Uller is also very, very good. So, take a pick, I guess. It's up to you. Uh, but that's when Faye's coming back. That's when the majority of the banners coming back, actually. Uh, and then the rest, like roughly half of the banners split upon returns. Uh, February Remix is happening for some reason, like I said. Uh, Hreed is probably getting his overhaul then. Uh, and then we've also got Hector here. Uh, March, Uller's coming back. She back. Thresir is here. Uh, and then Alm and Mila are also coming back for March for the Mythic Hero that month. Uh, March also has a remix, BT Dub. And uh, evidently Ike is here and not in May, uh, which I flubbed up last time. So sorry about that. Uh, but Ike is here along with Azura. She's no longer alone. Yay. <laughs> no more sad Azuras. Uh, that remix is happening. Great. I'm terrified of what they're going to do to Legendary Azura. Probably some kind of like Halloween Naui scaling nonsense like she has with teleporting basically over the entire map. Uh, could be terrifying. April. I think we only had Hell added here. I think Silica and Altina were already present before. New Legendary that month. May is going to have a new Mythic. So far we know Elwood. And then Duma has returned as well. Uh, and then May has a remix also. There's no Ike here anymore. Other than that, nothing's changed. Uh, Rioma, Fjorm, Ephraim. And then there's one. One single chart left. July. They skipped June. I know. Super weird. But here we are. <laughs> July is here and it has Roy. Uh, Roy is coming back really, 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 really far away. So if you want Roy, he's on the current banner, I would I would recommend getting him now because that's a long wait. And also, you're going to be smack dab in the middle of <laughs> 12, 12 <laughs> summer banners around this time. And more than likely, uh, your orbs will be forcibly held against you uh, by IS when, when that happens. So uh, just be aware. <laughs> this is when it's coming back. A lot of stuff happening in July. If you want Roy, now it's time to get Roy. Don't sleep on Roy. Uh, but yeah, that is basically the entire Hero Tracker in a nutshell. I know it's crazy to be thinking about July already, but hey, here we are. Who the thought? Not me. Uh, this is the composite Hero Tracker. So if you're interested in seeing everybody in a lineup, uh, again, I will be sharing this on Twitter, so go find it there, probably. And uh, yeah, this is this is everybody. It's uh, it's gonna be a stacked couple winter months. Good luck, summoners. <laughs> it's gonna be nuts. Uh, but yeah, it's it should it should start winding down. I think after February when the, the anniversary hits, and then we get to look at spring heroes, and then fallen heroes, and then. Bride Pala will be here and just all kinds of crazy things. So, uh, yeah, nothing's actually going to slow down for a while. I lied to you just now. Sorry about that. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. Again, if you did, please show some support for the video. We very much appreciate it. This is a pain in the butt to keep doing every month, but I do it anyway. For you, the viewer. Uh, which, 40% of you are not subscribed. So... Kind of a jerk move on your part. Just saying. I'm not trying to call anybody out here, but uh, we are trying to hit 10K. So uh, do your part. Or don't. But do it. <laughs> All right. That's it. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. And until then, I will catch you next time.